Hello, lovely listeners. Welcome back to another episode of the Literature Podcast. I'm Susan, and today we're diving into a book that's widely regarded as a cornerstone for understanding marital harmony, The Seven Principles for Making Marriage Work by Doctor, John Gottman. Now, if you're familiar with the realm of relationship psychology, doctor, John Gottman's name might ring a bell. He's renowned for his extensive research on couples and his ability to predict with remarkable accuracy whether a couple will stay together or part ways. But what makes this book stand out isn't just the depth of its insights, but its practical, actionable advice. At the foundation of Dr. Gottman's work is his discovery of the critical importance of everyday interactions, or what he terms micro-moments of positivity. These moments, often subtle and seemingly insignificant, are the building blocks of intimacy and trust in a relationship. Diving into the book, readers will be introduced to the seven principles that Dr. Gottman believes are essential for marital success. These are not mere hypotheses. They're drawn from decades of observational studies involving real couples. The first principle, Enhancing Your Love Maps, speaks to the importance of understanding your partner's world, knowing their hopes, fears, dreams, and even the minutia of their day-to-day -day life. This deep mutual understanding fosters a bond that goes beyond surface, level interactions. Then there's the principle of nurturing fondness and admiration. It's all about focusing on the positives in your partner and your relationship even during challenging times. According to Dr. Gottman, this positivity acts as a buffer during conflicts and ensures the foundation of the relationship remains strong. One of the standout principles, in my opinion, is turning towards instead of away. This principle highlights the significance of acknowledging your partner's attempts to connect, whether it's through a simple gesture, a question, or a shared joke. These moments, when recognized and reciprocated, accumulate and strengthen the emotional connection between partners. As the book unfolds, Dr. Gottman also touches upon the dangers of what he calls the four horsemen, criticism, contempt, defensiveness, and stonewalling. These behaviors, if unchecked, can erode the foundations of trust and mutual respect in a relationship. However, with awareness and the tools provided in the book, couples can learn to counteract these negative patterns with more constructive behaviors. As we journey further into the seven principles for making marriage work, it's evident that Dr. Gottman's approach is both systematic and compassionate. One principle that particularly resonates with many readers is letting your partner influence you. This is about mutual respect and valuing each other's opinions and feelings, recognizing that in a partnership, decisions are shared and both voices matter. Another pivotal concept is creating shared meaning. It goes beyond the everyday routines and dives into the symbolic realm of the relationship. This means understanding and respecting each other's dreams, creating rituals that are unique to the couple and building a shared narrative that intertwines both partners' perspectives. It's about crafting a collective journey filled with shared goals, values, and aspirations. But the book doesn't just stop at outlining the principles. Dr. Gottman also provides a plethora of exercises and questionnaires designed to help couples actively engage with the concepts. These practical tools are invaluable for those looking to not only understand their relationship dynamics, but also enact meaningful change. For instance, the Love Map exercises encourages partners to ask each other questions, helping them explore and deepen their knowledge of one another's worlds. Another, the Four Horsemen Questionnaire, assists couples in identifying potentially harmful behaviors and understanding their origins. This self-awareness is the first step towards cultivating healthier communication patterns. A key takeaway from Dr. 
Gangan's work is the idea that it's not the absence of conflict that makes a relationship work, but rather how couples manage and navigate through disagreements. It's about fostering understanding, cultivating empathy, and consistently choosing love even in the face of adversity. Through the combination of rich insights, real-life examples, and practical exercises, the seven principles for making marriage works becomes more than just a book. It's a roadmap to understanding, healing, and deepening one's marital bond. As we come to the end of today's exploration of doctors, John Gottman's seminal work, it's worth reflecting on the broader message of the seven principles for making marriage work. At its core, the book underscores the idea that marriages, like any deep-rooted relationship, require conscious effort, understanding, and mutual growth. It's not just about navigating the calm waters, but learning to dance in the rain together. The Beauty of Dr. Gottman's approach lies in its fusion of scientific rigor with relatable, real-world examples. This isn't just theory. It's a testament to decades of observation, research, and genuine passion for understanding the intricacies of human connection. For our listeners who are either in a relationship or contemplating one, this book is more than a guide, it's a mirror. It prompts introspection, offers validation, and, most importantly, provides tools to foster lasting intimacy. In the vast landscape of relationship literature, the seven principles for making marriage work stands as a beacon, illuminating the pathways to deeper understanding, compassion, and love. If you're seeking a blend of wisdom and actionable advice, this book is a commendable addition to your library. Thank you for joining me on this episode of the Literature Podcast. It's always a pleasure to delve into profound works that shape our understanding of the world and ourselves. Stay tuned for our next literary exploration. And remember, every book is a new journey and every page, a step towards enlightenment. Until next time, happy reading. Thank you.